Let's do it. Hey, hi, and welcome to Screw the News. Velvet's here. Hey, Velvet's a happier in a clam today. It's Bob Dylan's 80th birthday, and I couldn't be happier. I tell you that right now. 80 years old, man, blowing in the wind there, Bobby, for a long, long time. And I'm happy for you, and I hope it continues on for you for a long, long time. I hope you're here at 90 years old, me celebrating a birthday with you. A hundred, I don't care. I just wish you the best. Now, everybody has a Dylan story. I've never run across the man. I don't have anything but this to tell you about it. I, you know, I've told you stories about being out on that ranch in Arizona that my friend who was uh, Ronnie Wood's uh, personal manager for his artwork. Well, out there we had, they, we, they had a whole bunch of equipment out there. They had a whole sound system that the Stones had on tour with them one year, <clears throat> all that stuff. And there was all kinds of stuff out there. And um, this was in the 80s. And um, there were some cassette tapes out there. And uh, I, I put one in one day, you know, and it's and, uh what it was, it was uh, Keith Richards, Ronnie Wood, and Bob Dylan holed up in the hotel in uh, New York City. And uh, <laughs> through it all, they're talking. They don't talk that much. I tell you, these guys don't talk that much to one another. They play a lot of guitar and a lot of this is and a lot of that, you know, let's try this and let's do that. But there's not much conversation, which, you know, neither here nor there. <clears throat> but apparently, I don't know what they were doing, but um, <laughs> Bob, Bob has heard say on there that... Um, um, uh, let me take that back. Ronnie and Keith asking where Bob's at. And Keith says, oh, he's getting some tile time. And I found out later from my friend that, that man, he, he was laying on the bathroom floor because <laughs> it's nice and cool down there. I mean, kind of mellowing out, sleeping on the bathroom floor on the tile. And uh, on the tape, you hear Bob come back into the room and... Uh, he says, well, how you doing, man? And, then, and he says, I'm not I'm all right. He says, hey, he says, I, I, this came to me in a dream. And he picks up, picks up a guitar, and I can't, I can't even hum the melody. I can't really remember. But he plays and sings this song that was, you know, any one of us is a number one. You know, and just out of the blue, you know, and the three of them just, you know, as good as they are, they all joined in. And it was a hell of a song, but uh, it came to him in a dream. Well, I carried that with me. That same, what he said, this came to me in a dream for a long time. And then <clears throat> in the late 90s, I, uh, I wrote a song, Dylan Dreams. Because I had, I was reading some of his lyrics and I was saying, Jesus, what the, what does this man see when he dreams? You know, I just wonder what the hell does he see when he dreams? I know what I see, but I, you know, it, it's got to be bizarre inside that head. And so, <clears throat> I took the lyrics, and I took some of his lyrics. I I used a Dylan lyric, then I'd write a lyric. I'd use a Dylan lyric, then I'd write a lyric. So. <clears throat> And if I, if, you know, if I find a match, I just match two of his up. But this is a song that I wrote. It's called Dylan Dreams. And this is my idea of what he might see in his dreams. All right. So I'll talk to you when we get back. I'm going to run this. This is me playing guitar. This was all done at JCB Music in San Diego. <clears throat> Greg plays a lot of the instruments on this thing. I play rhythm guitar on it. And my blue-eyed soul boy, Jeremy Drake, plays lead guitar on this. Greg's drums, uh, rhythm guitar with me, a lot of other things on there. Plus, he produced the song. So this was all done at JCB Music in San Diego. But uh, enjoy this, and uh, let me know what you think about it in the comments. All right, and I'll talk to you when we get back. Take it. <laughs>
I hope you enjoyed that. I had fun writing that song and enjoyed <clears throat> playing that song, and uh, it's it, it's one of my treasures. And um, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I just again, happy happy birthday, Bob Dylan, 80 years old. I'm not far behind you, my man. And uh, <clears throat> if anybody has any questions about anything, if you want to be on my show, screw the news and have me promote you. Get in touch with me. Screw the news 2020 at gmail.com. And if you would, you know, do this subscribe, subscribe. And uh, my promotions are free. <clears throat> Send me a video, talk to me. I don't charge anything for anything that I do for you people because I love the independent artists. And <clears throat> I mean, there's a lot of people out there want to grab your money, but I ain't one of them. All right. So, um, Get in touch with me if you want to be on this show and help me. It helps me promote my show. It helps you promote your music. So let's work together. And uh, let's one more time. Happy birthday, Bob Dylan. Many, many more, my brother. Many, many more for you.